for day grade tens. In this module, we are learning about magnetism. But what is magnetism? The nature of magnetism. This section will describe the basic nature of magnetism. Magnetic domains. The motion of electrons may produce unusual forces. Most of the time, these cancel out and don't amount to anything interesting. However, in certain materials, groups of atoms have their electrons aligned into small areas called magnetic domains. These behave as small magnets themselves. Magnetic elements. Iron, cobalt, and nickel are commonly magnetized materials. These materials are called ferromagnetic. All materials are somewhat magnetic, but most are only very slightly magnetic. Polarization. The poles of a magnet cannot be separated. There are no magnetic monopoles, unlike electric charges, where you can have a single, isolated, positive charge, say. A north pole will always be accompanied by a south pole for magnetism. Attraction and repulsion. Just like electric charges, poles, likes repel and opposites attract. Here's a case where likes repel. Here's another case where likes repel. And here's a case where opposites attract. You may have experienced this when playing around with refrigerator magnets. Sometimes they attract, sometimes they repel. Breaking magnets. If you break or split apart a magnet, you don't get an isolated north and south pole as you might imagine. Each segment becomes its own complete mini-magnet. If you begin with one magnet and break it, you actually end up with two complete magnets afterwards. Two south poles, two north poles. Even if you go further and break those pieces, you once again end up with complete magnets, a north and a south pole on each. The Earth as a magnet. The Earth itself is a large magnet. Magnetic north and geographic north are not exactly in the same location. The difference between these two is called magnetic declination. This magnetic declination is often important when navigating with maps, and it is often printed and referenced on a map. Now, what we call true North Pole, or the North Pole on the Earth, is actually the magnetic South Pole of our Earth. It's just that the north end of a compass needle points in that direction. Magnetic Fields Magnetic fields, or B fields, may be drawn similarly to electric fields. Go from north to south. The electric field moved from plus to negative. So here's our magnet. The magnetic field would be drawn something like this. Notice the lines have arrows which point from north to south. Where the lines are more concentrated in an area, that area has a higher magnetic flux or strength. Field lines. A small compass could be used to trace the magnetic field lines in simple situations. This is a common laboratory experience. Here's a magnet. Put a compass near one pole and make a point, a pencil point, where the north end of the compass points. Then move the compass again, move the compass again, and so forth and so on. Eventually, 
you will get a nice picture of where the magnetic field lines go. <coughs> Repeatedly moving the compass creates the same field lines that we saw in the previous diagram. Electricity and magnetism. A wire carrying an electric current produces magnetism. In fact, any moving charge creates magnetism. Earth's magnetic field. This is why the Earth has its own magnetic field. The molten metal charged material in its center is continually rotating. Thus a magnetic field is formed around the Earth due to the movement of this charged material. This is called the dynamo effect. A curious fact. Every few million years, the Earth's magnetic field reverses or switches itself. Other magnetic fields. The planet Jupiter spins very fast. This rapid movement of its interior may explain why it has a very large, powerful magnetic field. On the other hand, most moons in the solar system have no molten core. Since they're small, they have cooled off. Thus, they have no magnetic field. Now that we have watched a general overview of magnetism and what magnetism is, in the next few lessons we will be learning about very certain specifics, like how the fields work and everything else. And you don't have to feel overwhelmed if you didn't get everything in that video. We will be covering it all in the next few lessons. Thank you, Grayton. Have a wonderful day.